Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to um, set up like a really basic program in LEGO Mindstorms and then be able to pair that to our um, PlayStation controller and then also pair our computer to our um, LEGO brick and be able to control the whole thing. So let's get started on that. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up Mindstorms, all right? So we're going to go and scroll down to the M's and we're going to open up Mindstorms. This may take a moment, so bear with me. All right, Mindstorms is opened now. So down here in the bottom, we're going to go to Projects and we're going to click the plus project for a new project we're going to use word blocks i'm going to call this example robot code two so i'm just going to create that so this is going to open up something that you know is pretty similar to your spike app all right you have motors you have movement sound events you know everything that you had prior um, but we're going to come down here to extensions in the bottom left. You're going to scroll down towards the bottom and you're going to turn on the DualShock controller. All right. At that point, with the DualShock controller, now we can say things like, okay, when the left stick is up and also like when the right stick is up and all these other things. All right. And we can go through our motors and like, let's say that our left motor is A and a right motor is B. We can say, okay, get our left motor going that direction, get our B motor going in that direction, right? And then we can also say, all right, when that is down, now we're going to want those motors to go in their opposite directions, right? And this doesn't actually apply to your particular project but this is what we would do all right so we would create a program let me open up the program that i've already created all right so when you look at this project here this was set up a while ago super basic this is just to get a robot moving more or less so when my left stick is up my a motor is turning one direction when it's down it's turning the other direction we're going to have to like test and make sure that it's going the right direction later on when the left stick is released, I stop the motor. Same thing happens with my right stick. Notice that they are going opposite directions from over here because they're like the opposite sides. Again, you might have to chest, test that. And then again, when we release it, it stops. Up top here, I have um, R2 when it's pressed and released. That could control like a mechanism, you know, an arm or an intake or whatever you're doing on your bot all right so now what we need to do is we need to work on getting like our playstation controller connected and our brick connected and we're going to go through that process here so down um, under like new notifications i'm going to right click on bluetooth and go to settings all right we need to make sure the bluetooth is on once we get into settings here All right, so you can see like already I kind of have some hubs set up. We're going to set up a different hub today and we're going to work on trying to get things going here. So um, if we take a look at this document, it tells us that we need to, in order to pair our controller, which is what we're going to do first, we need to hold the share button down while the controller's off. Hold the share button down and then you're going to hold the PS button down until you see like the light bar flash it's going to flash like three times i think it's going to stop for a moment that's going to flash three times again really quick and then it's going to stop for a moment so again i'm going to hold down the share button i'm going to hold down the power button i'm going to wait for a few seconds until my light starts to flash and it's the camera has a hard time picking this flash up but there you can kind of see it this thing so again we're in pairing mode because the light's blinking I'm going to add a Bluetooth device. 
We're going to select just Bluetooth, the top one, mice, keyboards, pens. Here's our wireless controller. We're going to select that. Now it's connecting up. Okay, done. So there is my wireless controller. All right. So in the Mindstorm app now, we need to connect to our brick. So in the top right, we're going to click on the brick. We're going to make sure that our brick is on. We're going to turn the Bluetooth on. Okay, there's my kit, kit one. So I'm going to select kit one. And now I'm connected to kit one. Down here, we want to make sure to turn on streaming. Streaming will allow us to basically go through our computer to our system. All right, so the, the controller is connected to the computer. And then the brick is also connected to the computer. And because we're streaming, it's just going to pass the information through the computer to our system in the end. All right. So at this point, you when you hit like the play button, you can see like my pieces moving around and going through. My motors aren't turning though. So let me check that out real quick. All right. Different robot than I had before, so different connections. But now, like when I push my stick up, my motor turns. When I push it back, it turns the opposite way. When I let go, it stops. All right, so that's the goal. Um, again, you got to get your program set up before you can actually pick up a controller and connect and like test. Um, make sure that you save your programs when you're done. So we're going to go file, save, and then, you know, Hold on to it so you can lock into this machine again later on in the future to be able to like pair to your system. All right. Good luck.